First, we will make a selection around the object we want to work on. Select Bezier tool, zoom in, turn on snap to object, and start adding points around the edges. Now, double click on shape tool to select all nodes and convert to curves. Start dragging the lines to fit on edges. Turn off snap to object. We can use node handles, Try to be accurate as you can. We can add nodes by double clicking on curve. We can click on Smooth Node to smooth our curve. Now, select Pick Tool, fill with color to check the shape. As we can see, our shape look like a mask around our object. Ctrl plus Z to undo filling. Now, select the image, go to Object, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame. We notice that the cursor shape changed to select the frame. Click on the shape. As we can see, the background removed. Now, remove Stroke. Go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, change color mode to grayscale, change resolution to 600 dpi. If the image is too big, change resolution to 300 dpi. Press OK. Now, go to effect, brightness, contrast, intensity. Press reset. Then, start changing values until you get the desired look. Press OK. Now, right click, Outline Trace. We can choose Detailed Logo or High Quality Image. I will choose Detailed Logo. Now, increase details. You can change image type anytime from here. Change remove background color to specify and select white color. Press OK. Zoom out and move traced object aside. Ungroup all. Start selecting gray colors and change to black. Delete shapes with white color. Continue editing until you get the desired look.
Now, the easier way is to convert image to black and white from the beginning, then trace. Select the image, go to image, convert to bitmap, change color mode to black and white, press OK. Now, right click, outline trace, high quality image, Change remove background color to specify and select white color. Press OK. We can see that the result more better before doing anything. Move aside. Ungroup all. Remove white shapes. Now select all, Ctrl plus L to combine together, select shape tool, remove small white dots by selecting and deleting. Now change color to check the shape. Now I will repeat the same process but I will change some options in trace. Now we want to put the shape in circle, so select ellipse tool, hold control and create a circle. Select shape tool, select bottom nodes and drag down to extend the black area. Now select the shape. Hold shift, then select the circle, press I to intersect. To add shortcut key, go to Tools, Options, Customization, Commands, Show all items, select any item and press I on keyboard, Find, Intersect, Shortcut key, New shortcut key, type whatever you want, then press assign. Or you can go to object, shaping, intersect. Select the main shape and delete. Delete the circle and fill with black. Remove stroke. Now, if we want to add a background, Go 
Drone or Circle. Align with the shape. Double click on Fill. Change to Gradient Color. Change color to whatever you want. I will import ready-made image I done before. Use eyedropper to change background color. You can add any numbers of colors by double clicking. Now select the circle. Use Shadow tool to add shadow, just click and drag. We can change the shade and make it darker. We can add white stroke around the circle, change stroke width. Now our design is ready.